Welcome to Learn to Use Your Online Class Base for the Diploma of Community Services Case Management. We're aiming to learn how to log into the student portal and navigate around. We want to know how to stay informed and find out what to do in the class bases each week and find and submit assignments. We'll also look at communicating with the teacher and other students. There's a link to the student portal on your college website, up here in the top right. You can also go directly to the student portal at this address. When you arrive at the student portal, click on the login button here. If you're a new student, your username and password will have been emailed to you before the start of your course. If you're a continuing student, your username and password remain the same. If you can't find your login details, click here and there are some different options for sorting out your login, including talking to a real person at the IT help desk. When you log in, you'll see this page first, and it's a good idea to keep an eye on the college news and the campus news. There are options at the top here for the news, which we can see on the screen now, and then an option to go into your online class spaces. Here you have a link to your personal details, then to your enrolment information, to your academic results, and to your financial statements. There are also buttons to these sections up here. At the very top right, you can log out, change your password, go to your student email account, and also go to the how-to guides and the IT help desk. The how-to guides are really useful. For example, here are instructions for how to submit assignments online. As well as using this link to your online class spaces, you can also use this drop-down menu at the top. This is useful if you're a continuing student, as this menu has a link to the archived classes you did up to trimester 2, 2016. To access classes from trimester 3, 2016 onwards, click on My Current Classes. Once you go into the My Classes section, you'll see a list of your modules and also a link to the VET Student Lounge. Let's look at that. As you can see, the Student Lounge has lots of helpful sections. The VET News is a great way to stay on top of what's happening with the school. There's a page with key contacts within the school and then information for new students. Let's look at this Compulsory Workshops page. If you're studying online, you need to attend some workshops to develop your practical skills. There's information here and dates when the workshops are on at each campus. Get in touch with the VET coordinators to discuss which workshops you need. Now back to the Student Lounge page again. There are links here to enrolment information, placement information, and a question forum where you can post questions for staff. This Student Forums page has a place to buy and sell textbooks and find a study buddy. There's information about jobs and volunteering here. OK, back to the My Classes page. Let's go into an online class space. This module is Communication with Clients. Let's look at getting set up for study. I'll click on this Subject Information link, and here we have the Subject and Assessment Guide and a short summary of the assessments for the module. If I click on this link, I can open the Subject and Assessment document, which explains what the module is all about, including a summary of the topics in the 12 weeks of the module. This guide also has the assessment instructions. If we go to the end of the document, we can see the assessments here. So now we've got an idea of what the module is all about, let's go back to the main page and look at what we need to do each week. Here you can see that there are instructions and resources for week one and then week two, etc. These resources might be videos, documents, slides, quizzes, things like that. It's best to study these materials before your class, as you'll learn more from the class if you've started to think about the week's topic beforehand. If you're studying online or blended delivery, there may be some live online sessions over the course of the term. These will run using a platform called Zoom. Your teacher will let you know about live sessions by posting information in the announcements forum here. Now let's talk about assignments again. Remember that the assignment questions are in the subject and assessment guide that we find in the subject information section. When you have done your assignment and you're ready to submit it, go to the week it's due and there'll be a submission link there. When your teacher has marked your work, you'll get an email to your student email account letting you know that your grade is ready. OK, before we finish, let's look at how to stay up to date with class news and communicate with your teacher and fellow students. Announcements from your teacher and other ACAP staff are made in the Announcements forum here. 
The discussion forum here is a way for you to ask questions, to communicate with your teacher and with your fellow students. Your teacher reads the posts in here and replies to questions. If you have a private question for your teacher, it's best to email them, as posts in the discussion forum can be read by the whole class. Finally, there's great information in this general information section. You've got your contact details for staff, key dates, instructions for various things including submitting assignments, forms you may need and links to the counselling, accessibility and student learning support services. Get in touch with us at Learning Support if you have any queries or need specific advice about an assignment you're writing. Good luck with your studies.